Yo, what's good and welcome to my channel. Titans. I'm hyped for season three because the trailer looked really good. But uh yeah, I, I gotta I gotta I gotta vent real quick. Um listen, season two was trashed. I, I can't, I'm sorry. If you enjoy season two, that's cool. Like I respect your opinion. Um and if you see this video, let me know the reasons why you like season two. But for me personally, like it was very slow, like, it was a lot of talking, like, Deathstroke was a waste, he was a definite waste, he was definitely better in Arrow than he was in Titan, um, it was pretty bad, um, the Superboy episode was good, and also, like the first episode with like Rose was pretty good, and the flashback episode was really good. Like the flashback episode, I was mad because they they brought back Aqualad. They brought Aqualad in just to kill him off in the flashback, and I was like, they made that fire ass suit and everything just for them to kill him off, and it uh, it sucks. I thought he was gonna pop up in present day, honestly. This might just be me. Let me know how y'all feel. But I would have rather seen a show about the older Titans. Like, because the flashback stuff was interesting. They could have added Superboy in later because the Superboy episode was arguably the best episode of the season. Well, not arguably. It was. So, you know. Um, season 1 was good, though. Season 1, I think, was like a good 7 out of 10. 7.5. But, you know. Um, I'm excited to see what we got. We're supposed to get Red Hood. And honestly... I'm not a fan of Jason Todd on the show. I think the actor is miscast. Um, like, I don't... Like, honestly, Jason Todd is around too much. Like, he's not affiliated with the Titans at all. Like, so it's kind of like, why is he in the show so much? Um, and I get a lot of people like him. But for me, personally, I don't care for him. Um, but, I mean, maybe him being Red Hood will make him better. I don't know. But uh, I'm looking forward to see what we got. So, I'm going to get into it. So... You know, Titan Season 3, Episode 1, what's it called? Barbara Gordon? So we get Barbara Gordon in this episode. Cool. Um, You know, let's see what they got. Right? But I tracked him with the audio from City Surveillance, and I triangulated his location. I won't be back until morning. Stand down, Jason. Bruce, I... Stand down. Bruce, listen to me. I got this. I can do this. I'm not afraid of anything anymore. It's not about whether you're afraid or not. When are we going to get another chance to nail him like this? No. See, already. Already. I don't like Jason, yo. No offense to him, bro, but, like, I, I can't. I can't. I like the little flashback to season two to why he's kind of scared a little bit or why he's... It looks like he's taking the, um... The, uh... What's the stuff that uh Scarecrow used? I forgot what it's called. His toxins. It looks like he's using that. I mean, which, I mean, that's kind of interesting. But the actor, uh, like, maybe it's the dialogue. Maybe it's the dialogue and not the actor. Maybe it's just the dialogue. But um, we all know what's about to happen. Like, come on now. Like, he about to go get killed. Or I don't know how they going to do it in the show because he dies in the comic. Like, Joker legit kills him. And then he comes back as Red Hood later on due to like crisis or something like it's some craziness that happened with him but i mean <sighs> we'll see where it goes where the titan go <laughs> damn are we gonna see his face Let's go, my boy. Let me just say this now. Dick Grayson, Nightwing is like my favorite like comic book character superhero of all time. Like when I was little, I grew up on Batman animated series. And like, of course I was young when the show first came out. But like by the time the new adventures 
came out and like we got the introduction of Nightwing. That's what I grew up on first, and then I saw the other ones rerun. But like Dick Grayson's my guy. That's my guy. Like my favorite hero of all time. I love Nightwing. Nightwing is my dude. Let's go. Let's go. Getting that ass with. Let's go. Damn. Damn. Woo, let's go, beast boy. Yo, okay. Let me just say this now. I love Superboy. Superboy is probably my favorite. Superboy is one of my favorite Titans characters, like, and I love him in the Young Justice animated show, so, like, when they introduced him, I was too happy, and he's been good so far, like, so, I'm, yeah, I'm happy with what I'm seeing so far. Hey there, big guy. Crypto, speak. Gizmo was uh, looking to sell it to the high Oh, that was Gizmo? What is Dayton Labs doing with it in the first place? Your autograph? My son will go nuts. Oh, sure. <laughs> you want mine too, right? Oh, um, I'm good. It's hard to top a super. <laughs> Reporters loved you. Yeah, especially when you love them back. Way past curfew, kid. What are you doing out here? 24 hour delivery. Batman's a sociopath in a rubber ass and M outfit. Pick better heroes, kid. I'm really feeling the season so far. Like, based off just, like, I'm only 14 minutes in this episode and I'm really enjoying it. Like, I like the vibe that it's getting. We're getting a little bit focused on the actual team. You know, we got to see them fight as a team. I think, where's Raven at? I just noticed that. And I know Dove is still around. I know Hank left at the end of season two to go. I think he left the Titans Tower, but like I know Dove stayed around. But um, yeah, uh, I'm very hyped to see what we got with Raven because the the CGI for for Beast Boy looked a little better this season. It looked it looked way better this season. So I'm hoping with Raven, we get a little bit more of her powers. You know, in Starfire, I'm I'm mad that it's not like the plasma bolts yet. I mean, I guess we'll get there eventually, but, like, I, I, I want to see them now. It's been three seasons. Can we get the bolts, please? Oh, no. Now there might be crime in Gotham. Yeah. Welcome home. I want to see Bloody. Yo, the music getting me. Oh, just like Batman animated series. Yo! Down here? The dinosaur, the coin? The blood. It's about to get out. The Joker's back at Arkham? Yes. I'm glad the cops got to him first. Me too. What do you mean it's already happened? The mortuary delivered the coffin last night. I had him buried in the family plot next to Alfred. I always wonder where Alfred was in this show. I mean, but Bruce is old as hell in this show, so it made sense that Alfred would be either, like, really, really old or he passed away by then. But, damn, that's sad, bro. Alfred gone? I wanted to at least see him once in this show, but it is what it is. But I'm enjoying this, though. I like the vibe that it's getting. I think we should have just got a Nightwing show to keep it 100. I love the Titans, though, but, like, a lot of the stuff that we get in this show is, like, Bat Family-centered. And so, like, I would have preferred if they'd have just started off with, like, Dick Grayson and then, like, maybe the other characters came along later then did a full Titan show after. But 
you know, I mean, this is good too. It is what it is. But I'm liking the episode so far. Can't we just talk about this for a minute before you jump back into work? Kept making the same mistakes over and over, and that finally got him killed. Jason never evolved. He never grew past his own worst instincts. Chris is gone, and now Jason is sick of losing people. Ah, Bob and Good. Welcome back to Gotham, Vic. Done to so many people, you would have found a way to keep him locked up. Kill him! Part of me? San Francisco, Dick? I'm not leaving Gotham until I figure out what Jason was doing before he died. Not gonna lie, I see where she coming from, though. I see where she coming from, though. Like... Usually when Bruce goes and get these kids and bring them into, like, the life of... Not the life of crime, but... You know... They, he bring them into the Bat family. Usually, something bad goes wrong with them or something happens to them. Like, he takes broken kids and, yeah, turning them into these heroes. And, I mean, you know, not every interpretation is going to be the same. And I'm happy that, like, like, we have different versions of different characters. It would be really boring if every, like version of batman was the same or every version of the flash or green lantern or whatever so i'm happy that like this is much lower darker like that's the way she sees it and that's the way robin saw it in um batman a made a series like and that's the way he looked at it and i think that's what they're doing with this they're kind of taking some things from that show and implementing it into the the bat family stuff on titan so I'm liking what we got, and that was a deep conversation. Like, Bruce really sitting there thinking. Obviously, we got Tim Drake, so I don't think, you know, him not going to get a Robin, he's going to get Tim. It is what it is. Damn! Damn! Who the fuck are you? I saw in this building. I heard someone's cooking something new in here. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Chemical compound unknown. <sighs> Carrie Kelly? Deal. What is it? Stephanie Brown? Yo, this man got other kids in this system to go turn to Robins. Are you shitting me? This Bruce Wayne is a fucking maniac. What the hell? Hell no. Nah. 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 I don't like that. I also like to say, I like that Tim Drake is like, um... He's mixed race, like he's African American, and as well as I don't know if she's Asian or Chinese. Like I don't, yeah, like, I don't want to be ignorant when it comes to that. But he's mixed, and I actually like that twist instead of him. Like it's not wrong with like race, you know, changing the Robins. I don't think it's anything wrong with that. But like some people make it, you know, they go out of control with it. And also, Tim Drake has been made bisexual in the comics now which everybody's been going crazy about it but i'm just like he's bisexual y'all like they just made him like y'all like they changed him into a female or something i don't know man it's just people just bitch and complain about every little thing am i mad that they made him bisexual no was it necessary at the same time no like but am i going to be sit up here and pouting and mad about it nah i mean you gotta change up these characters eventually. Like these, a lot of these characters have been around for over thirty years. Like you can't just keep them the same. Like I'm a big fan of hip hop. I love the nine. I love nineties rap. I didn't grow up in that era. I was born in ninety three, but like I grew up and you know, as time went on, I go back and listen to that music. And music couldn't stay like that the whole time. Why? Because it'll probably eventually die out. If it stayed the same way. So I look at it as the same way. Like, you know, things need to change. You know, 
It's not nothing super crazy. He's bisexual. Just accept it. Who are they? Potential recruits. How this can you man. even think this is a good idea? You want to do to them what you did to me? You know what this is? No. It's an unidentified chemical. A drug Jason was manufacturing. Or trying to. What? He had a loft in Gotham. Did you know that? Probably not. No. No, I, uh... I didn't know. You didn't know because you don't care. It doesn't matter to you. You were already looking for a fucking replacement. Why would I be fucking robbing again? No, I don't want to fucking be robbing again. Damn. Dick, please. I can't do this alone. Then don't do it anymore, Bruce. But you know what he was doing was I came. He was laughing. He laughed at me because he Yo, he killed the Joker? More than I did. The city is yours now. You save it. Do what I couldn't. Be a better Batman. Yo. He killed fucking Joker. Holy shit. Yo. I can't. I just said that like earlier in this damn reaction too. Like, yo, you you, you should have been killed, Joker. And now he did it, and he's leaving. So are the Titans coming to to Gotham? I know I watched the trailer and I saw them in Gotham, but I didn't think this was how they was gonna do it. Wow. Yo, that was a good episode. Oh my gosh. I'm already, okay, Titans. Yeah, y'all trying to win me back. That's what it is. I see y'all. This was a good episode. We got a lot of Bat Family stuff. We didn't get a lot of Titan stuff. We got a little bit in the beginning, but it was mostly Bat Family stuff, which is understandable because Jason got killed. So it made sense for like Dick to go to Gotham to check on Bruce and Barbara and stuff like that. I hope she pops up more. I hope it's just not just for this episode i mean she's a big bad family member and if she become part of the titans that'd be cool like she working with dick while they're in gotham i don't like the idea of them moving to gotham but in this universe like bruce is done he's done he went to kill joker and told dick to be a better batman which he's not gonna become batman i don't want to see that I know Dick became Batman when Bruce went missing for a little bit in the comics, but like, nah, I don't want to see that. I want to see Nightwing. We just got him literally last season. I don't need Batman. I'm not the biggest Batman fan. Like, I love the Bat family. I love everything that's like surrounding Batman. I do like Batman as a character, but like, it's the other characters that I find more fascinating. So that was a good episode, you know. I forgot that Raven left at the end of season two. To go try to revive um Donna. So I mean, hey man, um hey, they bring her back. That that works for me because the way they killed her off at the end of season two was stupid. And death wasn't even well done. It was whack. So I'm all for it. Where was Hawk and Dove this episode? Man, you thought they would have been there. But it is what it is. I enjoyed the hell out of this episode. I'm pretty sure Jason Talk will pop up in the next couple episodes. Um, I'm gonna drop this episode tonight and then I'll do, I'll, um, upload episode two and possibly three tomorrow. Um, because I got other videos I got put up. I got put up my what if, you know, and I got to re-edit the flash video and put that up. So I'm gonna be doing a lot in these next couple of days, but, um, yeah, thanks for watching, man. You know, remember to like and subscribe, you know, share with your friends, you know, it helps the channel grow, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, I'm doing this, you know, for the fans, you feel me, you got a lot of superhero fans out there, you know, I'm one of them, and I enjoy doing this, I like reacting, you know, it's fun, you know, the experience is definitely fun, but you know, like, like and subscribe, you know, share with your friends, you know, you know, comment, and comment some other shows I should do too, like popular shows that I can do. You know, so, you know, so I can, you know, grow my channel more, Um, you know, but I'm going to get up out of here.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.